Wow, look how much the lighting has changed. Why am I blue? Anyways, my break was 15 minutes. It's been a good 30 minutes already. So I just tried the bush tea, it stinks, oh it stinks, but it doesn't taste that bad. But if you hold your breath it's not too bad, but because I'm not feeling too well I just thought I'd try this bush tea. Apparently it's supposed to like be medicinal, so yeah. Stinks though, stinks. <laughs> Smells natural for sure, I'm telling you. Anyway, this is all that I'm filming today. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to Tuesday's uh, video. I say Tuesday's video. I don't even know what I'm filming today really. I just wanted to say hi. I didn't film much yesterday. I filmed the bush tea though, I filmed the bush tea. I don't know what happened, like yesterday I went to the gym because I thought I could fight the feeling of almost being on my cycle. I only started today. But um, I, I thought I could like fight through the feeling. So I went in with a headache, came out with a headache, I'm feeling sick. And then I got home and then I had a cold as well. So I really needed the bush tea. I really needed the bush tea. Um, but yeah, today I'm just feeling like I want to kill everybody. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, first days are rough. First days are so rough. I had to run out. It's lunchtime now. It's um, 12. 36 in the afternoon so I'm at work in the car park and I had to rush out to go get some pads because I forgot some pads at home and so I thought while I was out I might as well go to Greg's and I picked up this chicken something this wrap anyways I got this wrap from Greg's because I thought I'm already out because I actually bought a pot noodle for lunch today but I thought since I have to go out in storm borrow 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 <laughs> It's storm B. We're going through a storm at the moment. Um, I went through a storm not long ago when I tried to go to Darlington. That was called storm Arwen or something. So A, B. So we're on storm borrow. I don't know how we started the beginning of the alphabet again. Not quite sure how this works, but um, it's really bad. It's just rainy. It's windy. It's cold. It's just horrible and I'm not in a good mood. So I'm definitely not going to go to the gym for the rest of the week. I'm done. I'm done. I tried. It didn't work. I went yesterday, I was only there for about 30, maybe 30 to 40 minutes. So it wasn't a productive session, I don't think. Um, so I'm going to take the rest of the week off. You're probably wondering, why go on, what's on your head? This, this is not the um, headband wig. Um, let's see if I can bring you guys a little bit closer. I need something that goes like this. Sorry. Um, anyways, it's not the headband wig that I've been wearing but I just realized that because it's so thick and so bulky it will be too like too hot on my head if I'm sat inside and my office is very hot like I have my own office and you know that heating is on every day all day like you know it's on all the time so my office gets really hot so having something so heavy and thick like that on my head will be too much like it's good for like town and going out and about but just to sit inside it's too thick it's too heavy so i bought this wig actually a couple weeks before i bought the um, headband wig i was gonna use it for something else but um i thought no let me just use this wig it's much lighter much thinner i can barely feel it on my head so it's like it's really good it's perfect for sitting inside it doesn't make your head too hot or anything i got this wig from a place called cc's in Leeds so yeah that's why it's a different wig but when I got out and about and stuff I'll definitely use like the bulkier one the thicker one so yeah I just wanted to give you an update I think I'm going to Ikea once again after work because um, on Sunday 
which was two days ago now everybody loved the ikea mold wine so my dad wanted me to go back to ikea to grab four bottles since i'm not going to the gym i may as well go back to ikea i might put some petrol in my car as well um and i think i've run out of goat's milk so yeah but i think once i get home i'm dropping straight into my bed like i'm not even playing i'm dropping straight into my bed i'm not working tonight no 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 because last night was kind of like a bed night as well but i went to the gym first but yeah i'm going straight home after going to ikea and maybe morrison's and then yeah i'm going straight to my bed you know i can't i can't do this i don't know how people number one go to the gym on their first day of their cycle and also like be productive even like the day before the first day of their cycle i'm out fam i'm out clearly i can't i can't cope <laughs> i don't know how people do it i cannot cope anyways my break was 15 minutes it's been a good 30 minutes already 15 minutes isn't realistic 50 is just not realistic to me do you know what i mean it's just not realistic especially when i have to go out to go get something but it's okay because they like me here well i actually don't know <laughs> i actually don't know if they like me that much but a girl gotta do what a girl gotta do and i'm dying so and i needed my feminine products oh also actually i might actually do the skincare stuff <laughs> i say while i'm feeling sick but my exfoliator is coming today so i might just quickly though because obviously i don't feel too good but it will put me in a better mood if i get to show you all the skincare slash skin products i bought and then just show you like the exfoliator and kind of do it for the first time with you guys watching that'd be really cool if i can get that done tonight if i can't then i'll do it another day oh i'm also growing out my nails don't know if you can see yeah so i'm growing out my nails so then i can um have a nice christmasy nails i still need to book in my appointment i don't know if i'll be able to get anything in for december now it's kind of last minute it's december the 7th today so i'm gonna call on my brick and see if i can get an appointment for december or find somewhere that can get me in for december but we'll see yeah okay i'm done i'm done <laughs> I have to go back into work now. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Hi guys, how you doing? Today is Sunday, Sunday, is it Sunday today? Yeah, it's Sunday. Sunday the what? 12th. Sunday the 12th of December. <sighs> I don't know how we got here. <coughs> anyway, I've been sick. <laughs> I have been sick since Thursday so I've just been in bed with the flu I've had headache fever muscle pain chest issues sore throat literally headaches all of it I don't know if I already said headaches but yeah I've had it all and um, I'm still trying to recover like all I've been thinking is like I haven't showed them how I'm exfoliating like I don't know why I'm just like I haven't been able to show them that I'm exfoliating but yeah it just uh, <clears throat> these last few days have been the worst it has been the worst I went to work on Thursday I wasn't feeling too well but then as the day went on it kind of got worse so Friday I didn't go to work um, I was just in bed on Saturday, I wanted to go to church. I haven't been to church since we went into lockdown in March 2020, so in an actual church building. But I was still feeling so sick. I was supposed to go to this like youth thing, like in Derby. I even took my plaits out, you know, because I was going to do like a really cute hairstyle and, you know, I had my outfit planned out, but, you know. It just wasn't happening. I just couldn't cope. So, yeah. And then today, I'm here. Like, my fever's gone. I have been waking up with a headache. So, I've been taking literally ibuprofen every day to get rid of the headache. My muscle pain is okay. I've lost my appetite. So, I haven't really been eating anything. Like, I literally look like a skeleton. So, yeah, there's that. It's just like my throat area and stuff is still troubling me a little bit and I'm like super weak like I'm so weak so yeah um that's what I'm dealing with right now I'm just sick I'm just sick so it's been a bit it's just been a bit crazy but um 
I don't know if you can I don't know if you can tell any difference with my skin because I have been like exfoliating a little bit um, I think I don't even know I don't even know guys I'm so tired <laughs> I've been sleeping all day by the way but I did want to just quickly show you like I only have I don't have that much energy you see but I thought I'd just quickly show you my exfoliating process because it's very it's very simple and it's very fast um, it literally takes two seconds so um, I'm just gonna go quickly wash my face and then I'm just gonna exfoliate show you what I use and then that's it for today I just wanted to like record something anything because I haven't recorded anything since Wednesday I think so I just wanted to say something <laughs> I just wanted to say something but yeah I'm dying just so you know <laughs> uh, hopefully I'll be better soon but I don't know when but anyways let me go wash my face and then let me let me quickly exfoliate so I've washed my face just so you know I usually or I have been exfoliating in the evening and in the morning but yesterday I don't think I did it at all not from what I can remember and right now it's half three in the day I just wanted to try film while it's kind of still light outside let me just put this headband on I push it back a little bit my hair's a bit dirty as well so excuse me <laughs> it needs washing okay so the exfoliator that I, I went with is called Paula's Choice let me see um, I just remembered that I did try to do this a few days ago before I got sick but then the the camera started dying so I might have already showed you uh, that it's a uh, Paula's choice but anyways this is the smaller one um, 30 mil. I got it from Amazon for 13 pound it's in the description box below you can get a bigger bottle but because this was the first time I've ever used it I wanted to start off with a smaller bottle first to see like how it would work with my skin so far the results have been really good my skin just feels so soft and like the marks are like are not as visible and even under my eyes it's not as like dark kind of thing anyways so I have this and I also bought these cotton pads which look like this basically this is a your normal exfoliator this is liquid it's, it's not like something that you need to scrub in your face or it doesn't have bits or it's not foamy or anything it's just like water well it's a bit thicker than water but it's quite liquidy so you just need this also the reason why I went for Paula's Choice is because as soon as you type into Google or Amazon best exfoliator for black people and in my case sensitive skin Paula's Choice shows up and my sister also uses it and she's been using it for a while and says it was really good so that's why I decided to get Paula's Choice but anyways I, have my, I washed my face I didn't dry it but um feels dry I just let it dry on its own I prefer to put it on my face if my face is damp I don't really like putting things dry on my face like but my, I'm in a cold country so my face dries so fast but I would prefer it if my face was damp but anyways this is what it looks like you flick up the top like this I'll put on a bit more for you guys today just so I can show you um, and then I just drop it all over the pad <laughs> then you just apply it to your skin You're supposed to put it on your neck, but I don't bother putting it on my neck. 
I just put it here like on my jawline just underneath my chin as well and that's it and then when the pad is dry it's usually a bit dirty I don't know if you can tell it, it's very light you can't really see much I've been exfoliating for a few days now so my skin is quite clean and then you just put it in the bin then you just kind of let it dry into your skin one thing I noticed with this exfoliator is that it hydrates my face usually if I wash my face I have to cream my face straight away because it feels like my face is falling off <laughs> like it's just so dry like it's just so so dry um, it feels like my face is cracking they say it don't crack but trust me if you don't cream it will crack but then if I use this I could leave this on 15 minutes half an hour 20 minutes an hour my face will feel fine but I will eventually cream because you know <laughs> it's in me to cream my skin it's good to cream but uh, it doesn't feel like my face is cracking or anything like um, it just feels really feels okay it feels okay it does feel like a little tight like it's tight in my skin, I don't know. Um, the first couple times I used it, I did feel like a bit of tingling in some areas. It wasn't painful, it wasn't uncomfortable, there was just a bit of tingling in some areas. Perhaps because maybe my skin was getting used to something new, I don't know. But I don't feel any of that anymore, so yeah. And then once I've let it dry for a little bit, I put the cream on and my face just feels so good like it feels so don't get me wrong I look very oily but it feels really nice it feels really nice so I'm going to leave you for a minute and then I'm gonna come back in about I don't know five or ten minutes and put the cream on but I usually wait about an hour but because it's getting dark I need to make sure that you can see me so I'll wait about 10 minutes I'll come back put the cream on and then we're done okay so it's been about 10 minutes but I feel myself going so I need to make sure that I, I finish this one thing um, so we're gonna go in with astral because it's the only thing I ever put on my face like ever to be fair, you don't really need that much because, I feel like this is quite a lot, but uh, you don't really need that much because the exfoliator, I don't know what it does, it kind of mixes in with the cream and makes your face more moisturised than it normally would, but I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> So yeah, that is it guys, that is the exfoliating process that I've been doing most days, morning and evening. <laughs> now I'm going to go jump back into bed. I really feel like I'd need to try eat something because without getting my appetite back, I know I can't go back to work because I don't have the energy to go back to work so I really need to try my best to eat something. But the struggle is real and imagine wanting to eat, right? feeling hungry and then looking at food and wanting to throw up that is where I'm at where looking at food physically makes me makes me want to physically be sick so I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do we'll see hopefully I'll be better soon in Jesus' name I pray amen <laughs> um, okay I will see you guys whenever I see you um, just depends whenever I'm feeling better. But, um, I guess I'll have to show you my skincare things <laughs> whenever I can. But, yeah, I, right now isn't the time. But I will eventually. Eventually we will get there. So, yeah. Wow, look how much the lighting has changed. Why am I blue? It's getting dark, guys. It's getting, it's getting dark. But, anyways, I'll see you soon.